Well, hey family, happy Friday. I bet ain't nobody as happy as I am that today is Friday, right? Um, however, what I'm doing is I'm sitting here, I'm making some, um, remember when we used to, I don't know about you guys, but I do know here where I live at, we used to have our keychains and we would take our, our little keychain and we would fill it with all type of little trinkets and stuff, right? So in this case, I am going to be making a bunch of little rings like this with just a lot of little different things hanging. And I'm going to be making some, some necklaces. So these here are going to be hanging from those big 25 millimeter uh, beads that I'm making. So I have a special batch of beads that I'm making just for these necklaces. And then I got a, another idea because I want them to look like really boho-ish and kind of gypsy and, and, and raggedy and, uh, you know, just kind of transient, you know, if you will, in a very respectful type way. So I got an idea for some, some bees that's not going to be painted as something different that I'm trying. So I will come back and uh, show you what that is. But in the meantime, I'm trying to get about six of these made. So these are going to go on the fair. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm going to take um, a couple of more of these, just real quick, a couple more of the beads and, um, you know, make the little trinket. Just like really quick. And I think I'm going to use one of these Indonesian beads. I think this will give it like a really nice look. So I'm going to use one of these beads. And maybe take one of these little gold beads. Put that on there. And that might be too much. And then it might be just enough. So if you look at that. So this will be hanging from here. And it fits in exactly like what I want it to look like. So I'm going to use this. And then I'm going to take one of, uh, maybe one of the little gold beads. I'm going to put that on here. And this is just a real quick little video. Because I was sitting here, I was like, you know what, let me make a quick video. So I'm going to just take it, the top of the wire, like I always do. Roll it. Wrap it around a couple of times. Like so. And then I'm going to cut that like really close, that meaning the wire. And I'm going to just close it down right there. I don't want to fill anything so it's nice and smooth. And I like to take the bottom of my wire, you can see that hoop. And I just like to fold it down so you can't see anything. And then, so because it's going on this ring, um, I think I'm going to put it on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and open the ring up. These are some tough rings too. And I'm going to just put it on here. Let's close this nice and tight. So this is going to be another ring. So um, I don't have nothing over here I can show you. But you you get the idea. So these are going to be, these are going to be more like the pendant that hangs from the necklace. And I'm making them to be like uh, just junky boho type necklaces where, you know, like you kind of gather everything that you got, throw it in the pot, and then come up with whatever you come up with. So I am making some. Oh, that's a good picture. Let me see if I can make a picture. Take a picture. Let me see if I can take a quick picture. So that's what I'm doing with these. I'm going to make about six. And then this is what they're going to look like hanging from the necklace. And like I said, I got some beads over here that are drying. Um, I got another idea for some beads that I'm, that I'm going to do. Only because I want them to look a certain type of way. And I'm hoping and I'm praying that they're going to come out looking like what I think they're going to come out looking like in my mind. So that's what these are. Oh, I hope and pray because what I see in my mind is something absolutely amazing and fabulous. So this is what these are. And I'm going to make three more of these. Anyway, happy Friday.
Uh, thank you to all the new subscribers here in the Jury by BDK community on YouTube. Um, if you're not a part of the Jury by BDK Creator Zone, um, go over to Facebook, join the group. Um, them ladies and people and men and everybody is over there booking and being inspired and encouraging others, you know, to create and, you know, just be real, real about what it is that we're doing, you know, with this, uh, you know, with our jury businesses. There's like different avenues in which you can go in. If you're really trying to make a business out of your jury, there's like a lot of things that you can do. There's a lot of vending opportunities. There's a lot going on. Like if it's something you really, truly want, um, it is in you. It is what it is. It is your purpose. Make it happen. It's like, make it happen. And I'm finding with people, um, it's a starting point. People don't really know the starting point. And you would be surprised. People have gone to college and they still can't figure out a starting point for their own business. Now they could jump up in there and they can manage and run somebody else's business, you know, like the master, right? But they can't run or implement or execute their own. And that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing at all. You know, you just have to find a starting point. You find that starting point, you keep it moving. That's all there is. There ain't no more. And with any business, you have to have a service or a product. With any website, you have to have a service or a product. So if your product is going to be jewelry and you do not have a website, you do not have a business. So you have to have enough product that is made in order to create a website that houses a nice amount of product, right? And then as you make the product, you continue to put the product on the website. So there are starting points. You have to have a starting point. How do I make this happen? I want to do this, but how do I make this happen? In any business, the starting point is a service or a product. And once you have your service or your product, you move it on to next levels. Now, once you do that, that the next steps determine success or failure. And guess what? We'll talk about that in some other videos. Or you might even find some videos on here already where I've already talked about that because y'all know I'll be talking. Okay. And guess what? We'll talk, family. <laughs>